Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 3. Last time we began exploring the Rosy Morn Monastery. Now we're trying to find a way into the Githyanki Crash, but also there are um, a selection of uh, sacred weapons or something that apparently seemingly can unlock a thing, and we need to find two more of them. Also, I said I was going to organize my um, uh, inventory between episodes, and I did not. Uh, so, that's my bad. Um, I should have done that. I'm going to give that to Gail. Wait, no, his staff is better. I am going to swap his boots out because those boots are kind of annoying. Um, Where am I needed? Still breathing, despite everything. Now this, the graceful cloth, plus two dexterity. I think a stadion probably would Let's have a look. benefit the most from that. Now, does it look exceptionally terrible on him? Um, I mean, it looks kind of bad. I don't know what the range is on Lump's Warhorn. Haven't needed to call him yet. Um, I don't know if I can call him in the, um, you know, outside of the, uh, Initial Act 1 area. Oh, and these scrolls go to Gale. The pride of the gate. Uh, one with the weave. Oh, yes. Protection from energy, you can learn that. And hold person, he can learn. And what is that? Um, slow. All's well that ends not as bad as it could have. Okay, let's. Don't yeah. The, um, ceremonial axe that we retrieved, ceremonial battle axe. The monastery's notable keepers adorn these intricate panels. Oh, right, it was, um, we learned from that book, it was Vasaid wields Stockholm. the axe. Dawnmaster Vasaid. Yes, see, now it is glowing. Oh, Shovel is still engaged in combat with, uh, with that guy because summoned creatures cannot flee. It's, uh, a little obnoxious. Desire. Oh, but it, we've had a short rest, so we can just resummon shovel. No one back home will Problem solved. This. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Now, there is an upper level. That ah uh, yes, there's a way up here. Oh, um, here we go. Guess we're going back down. Mm -hmm. 
a gold and a ruby ring. The setting around the ruby is chipped and scratched, as if someone had tried to lever the gem free. And again, sorry about the uh, frame rate. This map is just like rather demanding. And with um, OBS running as well, it does tend to have some frame rate issues. There's not much I can do about it, unfortunately. Ancient Githyanki warrior with a Gith uh, Githyanki slate. This stone disc is carved with circular runes and pictographs. A fallen Githyanki warrior. A crash must be close. You must have questions. This uh, slate. This stone disc has Githyanki runes carved into it. Below them is drawn a translation into the, into the common tongue. Location good. Close to the road, but secluded. Building looks well fortified. Defense minimal seems to be a religious building. Space ample. Underground. Hidden. It was easy enough to sneak in without being observed. Prime spot for a crash. Suggest immediate occupation. Lar Real. I'll uh, send that to Lazal. Uh, yeah, I think she can hang on to. Uh, you know, she should be wearing those. Those are better for her. And those can go to Astadian since he's doing most of the ranged to live in more interesting combat. Have to keep going. To be careful of those vines could very easily get tangled up in them. Oh, a giant eagle. Now, do we have or can we brew? Oh, we could brew a fire resistance elixir. But no, potion of animal speaking. Because Amity is, um... Yeah, Amity is not great at animal handling. Her, um... Where is that? Animal handling, yeah, plus zero. Zero modifier. But her persuasion is quite high. But approach and try diplomacy. Intruder! In my nest! This area was meant to be safe! Xavier, get behind mummy! I'm just interested in that big device there. I promise not to meddle with the nest.
Fine. Xavier! Xavier! Don't talk to it. It might have germs. <laughs> The ceremonial warhammer is there in the uh, in the nest. And this device I don't know what it is. Seemingly can't even interact with it. I wonder. I'm going to quick save. Eager for battle. Can a mage hand get over there and yoink the thing? Uh. A bit of trouble targeting it. Come on. Ah! You're done pretty and sent it to win. Dang it! I'm gonna switch to, um... Why can I not? I guess because it's not her turn. It's calling for help. Keep focus. Okay, so yeah, let's go for non-lethal attacks because I do not want to actually hurt the eagles. Um... What do I want to do? <laughs> I do need that, um... <clears throat> I do need that hammer. I don't want to fight these guys. Lethal attacks are on. Good, good. Taste my fury. Like, I don't actually have anything against Xavier and his mom. I just want the, um... I just want the, the hammer. use this oh for now for a few attacks worth a try and now we have to focus on using melee attacks that can be non-lethal uh, oh he has very very high strength Let's... Ray of Enfeeblement. Oh. Oh, shoot. Oh, well, this is... a problem. Um, let's 
cast heroism on um hmm can't reposition so as to hit will yeah let's just cast heroism on Lazal. <laughs> Heroism and healing word. I will ascend. And she can knock Xavier out. And that eagle as well. Let's um Okay. Forever dauntless. Only five damage. It's not ideal. Let's go for one. Oh. That'll do. Is this what's a little of gear? Oh, there's so many of them. <laughs> Oh, this is a problem. Amity, back on your feet. Oh. No choice but to keep going. And... Greater healing. I don't fancy their chances. Um, Gale also drink a potion of greater healing, and can I hit both of them? Yes. Oh, that one's almost down. Casting Gale on Gale would be funny if not for the fact that we might die here. I didn't even want to fight! I- Amity, please stop dying! Oh no, that was Lazelle went down. Lazelle, stop dying. 
아... 오케이, okay, Will needs to get back up. He's in the most danger of dying. Amity's level 2 burning hands. Oh. Not bad, actually. Bill needs to drink a potion. The dice roll in my favor. Gale. I think let's cast this blur. Just to keep him in the fight a little longer. Okay, yeah, use the cutting words. Protect him. He's not great at that, but let's... Yeah. Oh! Ah! Can't get over to that one who I could actually... ...take out, but I can do a bit of damage there. Now she gets a turn, which is going to be... Ah, oof! Bad news. Okay, it has to be Will again, because he's so close to, uh, to death. And... I didn't want to kill any of them. I'm talking. But... We are in danger here, so... That doesn't work anyway. Of course it bloody doesn't. Another greater healing potion. Those things, we don't have many of them. So, uh... I'm not a fan of... Using them up like that. Okay. Disadvantage on that. This con save. I have plus one. I could do magic missile. Yeah, let's do a magic missile. Take out that one, and then... Torment. I did not want this to go this way. I didn't want anyone... Amity wasn't looking for anyone to get hurt. She almost never is. But these, um... Ah. Seriously! Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> Ow! Holy shit! Ow! Okay, okay, what... What can Amity do here? Um... 
Not much. <sighs> Shit, Lazelle is almost dead. Or, yeah, that was Lazelle. Come on. Hope that's in the splash radius. Yes. Okay. Fury. I am death. Uh... And. <sighs> she. She has 10 hit points. That's not many. Yeah, let's get Will back up. The more of us are on our feet, the better. No holding back. Will. Drink another potion. I speak, they burn. And. Hmm. What do I do? What do I do? I think Scorching Ray. Uh, 2d6 each. Good, they missed Lazelle. And he is still alive ish. Um, Shovel can't do anything useful. Um, let's, what do you mean can't reach destination? She, um, yeah, she can move all right. That's, oh, that's piercing strike. I thought that was a ranged one. The, um, okay. Uh, piercing shot. Yeah, I know. I knew she had a ranged version. Deals regular damage and possibly inflicts gaping wounds, which causes extra damage on attacks. But go for this one. Try and take it out as quickly as possible. And let's conjure this flaming scimitar. Victory awaits. Second wind. And wait, provokes. Oh, I have to take out. This one first. Not no failure. I don't want to use up her other, um... Oh, good, good. I don't want to use up her other charge in case she has to rally someone. Ooh. Now, let's give this a try. Vampiric Touch. He could use a heal. Sixty-four percent chance. Oh, actually, 
if the problem is too close, can Misty step away and Firebolt. Oh. Ow. Quite take that one out. Shoot. Get Gale back up. And I suspected that she'd have to rally someone. Right. Let my name be known. Just got mummy left to deal with. Favors the fearless. Seriously, not enough movement. Whatever. Oh, good. Opportunity attack. Oh, and a crit. My life. The boring opponent. Messy. But we got the Warhammer. What's in here? Oh, and this is You know what? I can steal a few feathers. I'm sure Amity feels, uh, kind of bad about this. But she's not the one who started the fight. Okay. Song of Rest. These notable keepers adorn these intricate panels. The reconsecration of the monastery conducted by Dawnmaster Seed. Okay, so Seed gets the hammer. Let's see. Dawnmaster Seed. Ceremonial Warhammer onto the. Okay, I'm not sure where the Warhammer is, but I guess that works. Guest book of Rosie Morton Abbey. A public guest book in which there are multiple handwritten entries from pilgrims who visited over the years. 
My home is as dark as my spirit. I pray that you will bring me light. Annual Kythorn Pilgrimage. Good to see your statue again, my lord. Never been here in person before. The stained glass windows are astonishing. We'll definitely recommend to others. Monks are friendly. We'll visit again soon. As a blacksmith, what an honor to see the four ceremonial weapons of the Dawnmasters for themselves. I'm not a Lathandrian myself, but I highly recommend it to anyone in the trade. The intricacy of the metalwork is astounding. Oh, an old key. Now that, that doesn't open this, does it? No, that would have been too easy. So all we have left is... I'm not even sure. They don't appear to be holding the monastery's notable keepers anything. Um, intricate panels. That'd be Stockhold? Even before it's... the Zenith Day, celebrated by Dawnmaster Stockhold. Now the one remaining weapon... I'm guessing is down on one of the lower levels. Old maintenance records. A reminder to the caretaker. When oiling the machine, make sure you don't grease the statues themselves. Stones become loose of late and has a tendency to slip. Novice Perrin was rumored to have triggered a full spin once. Huh. Curious. Mouth spell. Keep them that busy. voice probably belongs to someone long gone. The thunder, forgive me. We have the to fire that. The um contraption with where the eagles were. Some sort of weapon, perhaps. An inventory of the food offerings, uh, food and offerings brought to the monastery, and their redistribution to alms seekers. Ha! Hmm. What's that? Uh... Will, would you be so good as to blast through this for us? Aha! Oh, we've made it here. Holy blood of Lathander. The blood of Lathander spilled in holy battle with Samaster, immortalized here for all to worship. So they kept the blood of Lathander here. No wonder it was looted. Of visitors to Rosie Morn Monastery. A list of names documenting all visitors who came to Rosie Morn Monastery on a pilgrimage, year by year, ending on the year the monastery fell. Ah, and we have here. So can crack that open. <clears throat> Do 
Yeah, let's use Cat Grace. Option of mind reading. Oh, that's his Holy Blood Volume 2. Over here, do we have Volume 1, perhaps? and a scroll of gust of wind. His Holy Blood, Volume 1, Don Master Dovire. This missile describing a holy artifact of the thunder is penned in a particularly fevered hand. His radiance has faded from our unworthy gazes, O oh, you lightless wretches. We have failed the Morning Lord, and I record that failing in the pages of this tome. To think he once stood on our imperfect world, among us imperfect mortals, and he felled the villain the Semester with his holy brilliance. He bled for us, brethren, and we were tasked with locking our gazes eternally upon his blood. We let those gazes falter, and the blood was taken, wrenched from our sight. It is a test, one that this chapel is duty-bound to undertake. I pass the keeping of this record along to Paladin Vasaid, chosen in the light to find the relic. Paladin, when you look upon the blood, I pray Lathander honors your deeds by burning out your eyes. That's, um, a bit intense. And this missile charts an expedition to find a lost relic called the Blood of the Thunder. While mine eyes remain unscorched, we have made great progress in finding his lost blood. After many suns of searching, I pen this entry as our gaze lies upon a, Ch a Sharan outpost, nestled among the valleys of the Chianthar. We know the Sharans hold the blood. They dropped a cargo trunk during transport one eve, and its lid slipped open. It was only a moment, but my shining adherence, what a moment it was. The entire riverbank aflame with a soothing radiance, the same rosy light of a summer dawn. I could practically hear his morning song bouncing between the valley walls. We advance upon those heretic night-bringers at the first light of dawn tomorrow, and shall leave naught but ashes in our wake. Oh! So it's interesting, there was a shot an outpost here. Account of the establishment of Kresh Idlak. This stone disc has Githyanki runes carved into it. Below them is a translation into the common tongue. It is an account of the takeover of Rosimorn Monastery by the Githyanki contingent. Many supplies found. Local area good for hunting more. Grimishka infestation, but that will be no trouble and indeed will be useful in deterring unwanted visitors. Rosy Morn Monastery, it's called, but it seems these monks had plenty hidden away beneath the surface. Lots of valuable goods to be found underground can be traded off after the best bits are shipped back. The treasure room will provide a fitting location for the establishment of a military intelligence office. Seems to already have good defenses. Should station Inquisitor Wargaz... He'll be able to keep Therizin under his thumb, Mutlar Real. Ah, here it is, the ceremonial mace. This kobold had it. And a 
Cobalt Journal, a tattered book of drawings, stained with wine and reeking of bodily fluids of all sorts. A collection of drawings, some cruder than others. Most of them feature kobolds in varying degrees of nakedness, some performing sexual acts on themselves and some on each other. The final pages, however, feature more varied subjects. A soaring red dragon, Githyanki of various ages, and surprisingly detailed depictions of wine bottles. Well, uh... I, I suppose that's as good a thing to have as any in a, a sketchbook. Amity's not really one for, for drawing herself. It's not her artistic medium of choice. But if she did... Uh... I wouldn't be surprised if her sketchbook also ended up being full of pornography and dragons. Stand your ground! Keep them busy! Now... Not that one. Uh... There it is. Ceremonial Mace. Ooh, Morning Lord's Radiance. Your weapon attacks deal an additional 1d4 radiant damage. And we have here a pouch containing... A note to the next Dawn Master. To the next Dawn Master. I don't think we are going to make it, but the blood is secure. We've closed it off with magic. Only one of our own can take it. If anyone else tries, the walls will fall. And they won't get out of here alive. Should that happen, pray for Rosymorn Monastery, but do not mourn. It's for the best. In death, new life, always. And... Blood sounds important. Could it still be here somewhere? The Dawn Master's Crest... This unusually shaped crest bears the markings of a Lathandarian High Priest, but its practical function is unclear. Now, apparently, the blood can only be accessed by one of our own. So having that token, identifying its bearer as one of the Lathandarians, does that mean we can unlock uh, the blood of Lathander? Let me work my magic. Let's move. Let's be on my way. Well, um, either way, I think it is time. Time to long rest. Oh. Harlach. Mm. Hey, soldier, I... <sighs> well, I'm not feeling so good. <sighs> My engine... It's getting worse. <sighs> Feels like it's gonna burst out of my chest. We need to catch up with Damon. See if he's thought of a way to fix this thing. If it can be fixed. Don't worry, we'll find him. I'm sure we will. But, in case we don't, a bit of advice. You leave your left flank wide open. If I'm ever not around to cover it, you may find yourself on the wrong side of a goblin spear one of these days. <laughs> Uh, I hope she'll be all right. She will. She's strong. She'll be fine. And, oh, Lazelle. 
has something to say. Also... Ever since we shared each other's flesh, I've caught you looking at me with lidded eyes. And either like a coward or a fool, you tremble. Perhaps the parasite has weakened you. Or perhaps... Perhaps you still long for my taste. <laughs> I have been hoping we could spend the night together again. I never promised more than a night. Though I can't deny the lure of your taste. Sweet, yes. But also bitter as ginger. Tempt me. Uh, how would Amity play this? Um, I think... This is too arrogant for Amity. Um, this... Feels a little too... A little too... Emotionally driven. Um... And... I don't think... At this point... I think at this point... Amity is still thinking of this as like... Just a sex... Uh, sexual relationship, not like any kind of um, anything deeper than that. Uh, so I don't think she'd choose that option. So, uh, well, the sex gets better the more experience you have with someone. <laughs> like the shield bearer and pikemen must train to march their formation in tandem. Very well. I will claim you once you have taken to rest. But she has, she's definitely gonna say this, um, because, as I pointed out last time in the, um, at the party, Amity noticed that Lazel just pushes herself too hard, and, but also, like, this is genuinely the sort of thing that Amity would be into, um, and, uh, so yeah, um, only if you promise to stick around for a cuddle afterwards. <laughs> Why would a lesser act spark greater desire in you? Chuck. Overheated grappling that wastefully eats into time better spent resting our muscles. Oh, poor baby, she's, uh... You've never done it before, have you? And you've never strangled a barber line with your bare hands. I'll keep your request in mind. Perform well, and perhaps I'll consider it. Enough! I have given you my word. Do not be late. First in my heart. I mean, he, he isn't, but okay. Well, ma'am. I don't think anyone has new dialogue, so let's just go to bed. Um, Lazelle appears at your bunk, her eyes raging with desire. You suspect you won't be getting much sleep tonight. Well, oh, and now, um, the next step is to finally go and meet, uh, the Githyanki of Kresh Ilak in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. 
click the like button if you liked the video, or click the dislike button if you didn't. If you want to see more Baldur's Gate 3 or Elder Scrolls, go ahead and subscribe. You'll have a great day, and I will see you next time.